everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you this look which is inspired by the lipstick I'm wearing uh, which is by an Italian brand called Mulak is a vegan brand and it's the same color of apocalypse lipstick by Illa Masca I posted a picture of this look uh, last Saturday because I went out with this makeup and a lot of you messaged me to say if I could recreate a look where I was wearing the lipstick because they don't really know how to match it because uh, it's a very weird color um, I know so sometimes it's difficult especially if you're not into makeup if you don't really care about uh, new trends or how to match colors it can be hard uh, to know how to wear a specific or a particular color so um, I decided to recreate this look on the eye which is a very feline shape with an emerald green pencil underneath uh, which is the same color actually of the lipstick I took inspiration from Kim Kardashian because I saw a picture this summer I think of her makeup artist Mario Devanovic which did an amazing feline look on her with this black eyeliner underneath very elongated in the corners and also a uh, couple of years ago I saw an episode of Britain's Got Talent uh, with Cherry Cole and she was wearing this amazing look underneath the eyes she had this um, purple shade very elongated in the end like I'm wearing now so I put together a few inspirations a little bit of my vision and this is what came out so I hope you love this look I know it's not a very um, soft look or something you could wear every day uh, but I really loved the color and I wanted to show you how you could use it I hope you will love the makeup and I'll leave you to the tutorial bye I start the makeup with the eyes and for my brows I'm using the micro brow pencil from NYX um, these pencils are really popular and they're compared to the MAC ones but I find them much better because they are um, just half of the price they cost about 10 euro uh, and also uh, they have very precise um, results you can push the product outside the packaging and then put it in again while with the MAC one you can just push the product out and then um, once it's out you can just put it in again so you waste loads of product um, so I'm just gonna fill my brows with this product and then I move to the primer for primer today I'm using a paint pot by MAC in the color stormy pink which is a grayish movie toned uh, primer and I just apply it on all my eyes and underneath as well Moving to eyeshadow, I'm using this matte grey eyeshadow from Nabla, which is an Italian brand. So I just applied with a 217 from MAC, you can use any blending brush. Started from the end of my eyes and just blending the products all over the crease and also on my eyelid. I'm now taking a black coal pencil, I'm using Feline by MAC and I'm just applying it to the outside corner creating a V-shape. Once you finish applying the pencil with a small detail brush, you just want to blend the product in and soften all the edges. To set the pencil and to intensify the color, I'm using a matte black eyeshadow on the top and then soften the edges with the same blending brush I used in the beginning. Underneath the brows I'm gonna use this MAC highlighter which is called Love Connection and this mineral eyeshadow is composed by these two colors and I'm taking the light color and just applying it underneath my brows and blending it together with the other color. It's time to curl the lashes and of course I'm using my Shuemura eyelash curlers. To add some color to the eyes I'm gonna use this beautiful Wicon pencil in the color Emerald Green which is a very intense matte color. Once you apply it to your eyes it's gonna last all day long because it's a long lasting pencil. So I'm just gonna apply it in the inner um, of the eyes so in the waterline and then also underneath. To 
to have a more feline look once you arrive to the outside corner you just want to drag the product upwards and now with the bullet brush you just want to soften the edges to intensify the lashes i'm just gonna apply a black matte eyeshadow really close to the lash line I'm now gonna apply mascara on top and bottom lashes. You can use some falsies as well. They're gonna be perfect for this look, but as I'm using them always, I didn't wanna use them now. As the eyes are done, I'm now moving to skin and I'm applying Fit Me foundation by Maybelline all over my face. For concealer, I'm using Gotcha Covered by NYX in the color Medium, which is a really hydrating concealer. And I'm also gonna clean the area uh, in the outside corner, make it very neat and elongated. I'm now setting my base with Studio Fix Foundation Powder by MAC. You can use any powder you like, and also my under eyes area. For contouring, I'm using this Moulak palette, which is another very good Italian brand, and I'm taking the darker shade. And I'm gonna apply it to the um, hollows of my cheeks, also blend it towards the temples and underneath the jawline. To give some warmth to the skin, I'm using this Bourjois bronzer with the brush it comes with and I'm just gonna give some color to my skin. It's now time for lipstick and I'm using this beautiful lipstick by Moulak in the color Hope and um, oh, as a pencil I'm using a green pencil which is minted by MAC which is actually an eye pencil. So I'm just gonna do the shape to my lips with the pencil and then fill them in with the amazing lipstick. And this concludes the look. If you liked the makeup, please thumb it up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not. I know I am Italian, but every makeup tutorial I do, I do it in English as well. So you can follow me on the makeup tutorials I do. And also follow us on the other social, me and my sister, if you want to be updated on our uh, life, on what we do. Uh, I love to take pictures, so you could follow me on Instagram. I'll leave you all the link in the end of the video anyway. Thanks for watching, I'll see you to the next video. Bye!